Hey everyone, Leslie here from Team Filofax. Just going to do a quick setup video of my um, personal Purple Malden. It was requested uh, by Purple Mariposa. She wanted to see a setup video, so this one's just for you. And um, what I was using, I was using an original black, uh, black patent leather original and personal size as like my planner, my organizer with my calendar, my notes section, that was in the personal size. And then I had a pocket Malden in black that I was using as a wallet. And this is really a busy time of the year for me. Uh, the spring, my kids' activities and sports are just out of control. So I found I was actually, some things were slipping through the cracks. I was really busy, I wasn't updating the two to keep them in sync as much as I would have liked. So I said, you know what, let me just go back into using one file of facts for both a wallet and a planner and the per perfect planner for that is the Malden. And as you can see here, I have in this zip pocket, I have all my coins and change. I don't know if you can see in there. See, I have all my change. In this little slip here, I have all my um, bills, my cash. Then I have different um, credit cards, my driver's license, insurance cards. And this pocket, I just have miscellaneous, um, I have post-it notes and I have some papers that I just like to keep on hand. This is my dashboard, which oh, a receipt. And this is my zipper pocket, which I also keep a ton of things, some Martha Stewart drops, some post-its, some flags. Here I have a fly leaf with the um, pen loop that I got at the container store. And connected to that, I have a five uh, color, it's the High Tech C Coletto five color. Um, let's see if I can focus in on that. Is this going to work for me? Let's see, not really. Um, so what I have is all colors, five colors that I use to color code for the members of my family. So pink is my daughter, purple is myself, orange is my husband, green is for my youngest son, and blue is for my oldest son. So this is what I've been using, um, and I'll show you how I use that on my DIY fish pages, because that's what I've been using. I have another fly leaf, why I have two, I don't know. The year at a glance, Filofax. Here is my color code. Really, this is basically my color code system right here. Um, then I come to a pull-out calendar of 2015. It's the Filofax um, vertical calendar because the months run vertically up and down. I did have the horizontal for 2014, and I seem to prefer the, um, the vertical layout instead. Next, let me tuck this under. Next, I have contents pages, which I haven't set up yet. And this is, I have February, I have full March, and these are the DIY fish inserts. And then just for the months, I have April, May, and those I just have the monthly sheets. Now, I've been using these probably, I don't know, maybe a month now, and I can honestly say I am in love. I'm going to sit down. I'm in love with these pages. Um... They're fantastic. I am using the inserts version 2.1. And I have heard, let me go to Mar um, a blank one. I'll go to May. I have heard people complain that they're difficult to read. But one thing that she did with the 2.1 version, when you look at the month at a glance, it used to start down at the bottom. Now it starts at the top and it goes like this. So if you turn your planner it's like a regular, it just looks like a regular calendar. When you turn it how you would normally hold it and write, you have all your Mondays, you have all your Tuesdays, you have all your Wednesdays, and so on. So this is, I think, a change that she made from the earlier editions for the better. I love that change, and that eliminates a lot of the confusion about the monthly calendar. I honestly can say I'm going to do a whole review of the DIY fish pages because a lot I heard a lot of people and even I thought myself 
I had seen pictures on Instagram of this and I said, well, that looks so detailed when you have all, you know, a weekly chart, then you have this, you have your week, then you have your month. And I said, oh my gosh, that looks so detailed and printing it and cutting it. It really was not bad at all. I was very impressed um, with actually how easy it was. And it is exactly like her daily pages are exactly, don't mind my dogs, they're playing. Her daily pages, the layout are exactly what I need. So like I said, I'm not going into full detail in this video on um, the DIY fish inserts, but I am planning on uh, doing a review on them because I absolutely, I can't say enough about fish's pages. They're fantastic. Um, here's another divider. Now these are dividers I just made, but I haven't labeled my, and as you can see here, these are monthly tabs that I haven't labeled either. My label maker ran out of the clear tape and I need to go to run to Staples and get, um, some more clear tape. Now I have my regular same notes section that would be after the thing I have my doctor's appointments for my dad I have some wish list information my file effects wish list Midori wish list Coletto pen wish list my Pandora charm wish list here's I wrote Midori twice just some blanks sheets this is some miscellaneous notes um update for my planner pages um some changes I'd like to make. I went to a doctor, my son's band, he plays the French horn. When we went to Disney World, some packing lists. You know, so just random book fair information, random notes. This is the personal information section. I'm not gonna show that. But basically everything is the same. It's the usual file of facts, personal sheets. Let me see if I can get this to focus. I'm using my iPhone. and on, Oh, there we go. Um, I have family information. I have car information, such as my car insurance, my VIN numbers, when I need my oil changes are due, all that information. A website tracker, which has websites, um, logins, and passwords. And the last one is the birthdays and anniversaries, which I use the, you can see here, the file of facts. Um, sheets and there are six sheets in total and I just keep them paper clipped together with that paper clip. Now this section in my old binder was considered my project section. Um, since getting my Midori and using the fish inserts I no longer need to have a um, project section in my file of facts because if you look at my I go to March here, not this week, here we go. What I'm using my fish pages for is there are, let me focus in here, there are two columns. One I'm using for meal planning and one I'm using for project life. So I used to track my project life and you see it works perfectly. It's week 12, so I know what week it is. I used to do all that on blank lined sheets in my project section under the project life tab. Now I don't even need to do that. I have it all listed right here. Um, and it's listed week 12. So I have all the information I need. Also, it's the perfect spot to do my meal, my meal planning. Like I said, this is such a fantastic um, setup for daily pages. Um, so let me go back. So I really eliminated this whole project life section. Um, I also had in projects um, information for my YouTube channel and information on my blog. Um, you know, different ideas of things I wanted to do, different blog posts I wanted to write, and information like that. Now, since I got my Midori, I'm keeping all that information in here. So I really eliminated that whole section by having my Midori. And that's another video I'm doing, uh, the setup video of my Midori. I am loving it, I just have to say. If you're interested in a Midori, get it. Um, here's the financial section. I keep, let me see, if I have some of the file of facts, financial sections. And what I do is I have these sheets here that I just cut the top portion off so it just fits in the doesn't connect to the first ring 
and I have all my financial sheets for those there. The last section is my contacts, and I have some of the Filofax sheets and that I use, and then I keep important cards in the um, Filofax business card holder. So that's basically, I've had that forever. A random receipt, and then I have these stickers that I use to check off the months as they go by, and these I got at Michael's, I think they were like 98 cents, they're stickopotamus stickers, and they come pre-hole punched, or ready to go in the um, personal size file of faxes. Now this here, it's a black hard plastic, and if you can kind of see, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in, and you can see it says Franklin Covey, and it was for a compact size. This I've had, I, I really want to say 15 years. I, I had this from a planner, a compact size planner that I used. And I just transferred it in here. And what it does is it prevents the pages from going into the rings and getting stuck. Next, I have um, just a notepad stuck here. Now, this is another pocket with the mold in. It's a full, let me see if I can turn it so you can see it. A full slip pocket. It's very, I mean, you could stuff a lot in there. I don't know if you could tell how wide I'm opening it, but I mean, it's pretty wide and it goes all the way in. So I can fit my hands in there. Love that pocket. I just don't have anything in it right now. Like I said, I just moved back in. And then in the Malden pen loop, I have a, um, a Sharpie pen in black. 